All right, so I'm my cam. Uh, first I'll call all you how Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukakadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, or GMS who rule well through the Spirit. Peace and blessings to our hopeful elect, all right, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching and living the word in sincerity and truth. All right, it's the brother Yarrah from GMS Dallas. Um, back with a uh, quick lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I uh, just want to do a uh, response video. Uh, to the elder our camp, um, elder Yashwan Bar camp leader, who uh, I did a lesson the other day uh, concerning a article that um, was sent out. Uh, one of the other brothers sent this out uh, concerning the black churches, and you can see the title right here. Um, and it's an uh, awesome video. I encourage brothers if you haven't watched it to watch it. Um, very edifying and just another highlight of the um, the failure of, of Christianity, uh, and particularly. Uh, Christianity amongst Israel, you Jakes, you know, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, uh, so just going to do a real quick response to this video and our uh, little one's edifying. So, as you can see here, the title says of the video USA Black churches collect $420 billion from members and tithes. So, I'm actually go to the um, the article. It says here, USA Black churches collect for, and this is just in the USA. Black churches collect $420 billion from members in tithes and donations over the last 30 years. Okay, so this is, um, and this this is $420 billion in the USA in the last 30 years, man. You know, amongst uh, just, you know, uh, black churches, so, uh, you know, Judites, you know, so-called Negroes. Okay, so um, the brother, the elder read the article. I'm going to go through it as well. I'm going to go through it kind of quick, quick. Uh, but like I said, just going to give my take on the spirit and response. Lord willing, it's edifying for Akiyam. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to start off. Um, it says, uh, research conducted by uh, Live Steeds has reported that an estimate of $420 billion in tithes and donations has been accumulated by black churches since the 1980s. Okay, now there there's uh, several other articles that said, so it said it pretty much started in 1980. An, on, an ongoing investigation into the spending of mega church leaders was first initiated by Senator Charles Grassley around 2008. The investigation took place in many churches that proclaimed what is known as a prosperity gospel, which is a practice that says that providing donations to Christian ministries will result in personal financial blessings. And that's what a lot of these churches do, man. They, they teach this prosperity doctrine. You know, they give you a motivational speech. And you know, and that's really all these all these pastors are. They're not real pastors and teachers, okay? They're not sent from the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And that's the true name of the Most High His Son. His name, the heavenly Father's name, is who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, all right? Who the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? His name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, okay? And uh, you know, the, these pastors, they they weren't sent, man, you know. They're, they, they're, they're, all these churches are teaching nothing but prosperity doctrine. They're not true pastors because pastors are teachers, man. You know, the church, these people, these Jakes in these churches, man, they're not learning anything, okay? They're not being taught anything. They don't know anything about the scriptures, okay? They don't know anything about history, which is why they can't understand the, the breakdown of the Gentiles, the breakdown of reincarnation, okay? Things of that nature. That's why they don't get it, man, because they're not being taught and fed in, in these churches, man. These, these these pastors are nothing but hirelings and motivational speakers at the end of the day. You know, they, they write books uh, and, and they teach you how to prosper in this world, man. But they're not teaching you to prosper in salvation, man. You know? So, uh, let's finish that. Um, and actually, um, uh, let's get a quick... Actually, no, we'll get that scripture later. Okay, but I'll just keep reading. I'll read again. The investigation took place in many churches that proclaimed that what is known as the prosperity gospel which is a practice that says that providing donations to Christian ministries will result in personal uh, financial blessings. Okay? And actually, let's get this scripture. We'll get uh, Micah uh, 3 and 11. Okay, it's Micah chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. Okay? Hey, that's it. And, he, and they're the heads, man. Okay? They're the heads, and these are supposed to be the heads and the priests. Okay? But they're judging for reward, man. 
you know, they're hirelings. They're teaching for hire, man. You know, they're giving they're giving out um, what what they so called learn these seminary schools. Okay, they're pretty much doing it for 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 money, man. You know, you, you hear about certain mega churches. They have ATMs in there. You know, you hear about um, um, the uh, fact that members are reporting that hey, they're being contacted and harassed if they don't pay their tithes, man. You know, being kicked out, asked to leave, can't come back. You know, being pretty much being shaken down, man, for for tithes, man. You know, if you don't have it, man, then you don't have it at the end of the day. You know, but you, that that should not stop your salvation, man. Now, if you can't, if you stingy and you're not giving, that's between you and the heavenly Father, man. Then you you'll, you'll then you'll be dealt with accordingly for that, you know. But sincere Akiyam will, will give, you know. But if you don't have it, then you don't have it, man. But these these but what these churches do, man, like I said, they they pretty much shake people down, man. You know, they get access to bank accounts and and these you know, this that they find any way for 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 their members to, to to give up their bread, man. And their members aren't walking away with anything, man. They I mean the elder was discussing this before he put up his lesson. They, they're, 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 Christianity has has our people in the worst state that it's ever been, man. The more money they give, the worse our, off our people are, man. Our people are walking around through with no understanding, destitute as hell, slaves to the devil, man. Okay. Uh, the heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Okay. They divine for money, man. So like I said, they they sell books. You know, they do all these things. Even in Israel, breakdowns are for, are for sale, you know. Everything costs, man. But uh, Christianity has accumulated all this money, okay, and, ha and has done it has nothing to show for it, man. You know, as the Elder mentioned in this video, they, they didn't make a movie. They, they didn't want to make a movie about the black Messiah, a Messiah being black with an all-black cast, you know, because Esau, damn sure, would do it, you know. Esau will whitewash everything, man, and make a movie. But you know, our people won't put them heads, put their heads together, and, and put together a production like that to 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 you know to uplift our people. Well, one because um, they they will lose that five hundred one c three charter, you know. But they won't do that, man. They're they're happy with watching the passion. Some Edomite playing the Messiah, okay, and and all the disciples being Edomites, you know, being whitewashed, you know. They're happy. They're happy with with a so-called white Jesus, but then turn around and tell you color don't matter. Okay, but if it don't matter, then you walk by when when one of the camps when we have the the sign of Caesar Borgia, you know, with horns on his head, then you get offended. So if it don't matter, then why are you worried about it, man? You know, if you don't consider it as an idol, but our people lose it, man. And it's mostly you, you Latin tribes, man. You know, but but you you so called Negroes, uh, West Indians, and Haitians, you lose it too, man, over that image, you know. But then it then color don't matter, you know. But that that's how bugged out you people are. You 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 you're taking hold to a doctrine that that doesn't help you, man. That's destroyed destroyed you, man. Since since the time of slavery, man, it's given to you by your persons, the so called white man, the Edomite, okay, the house of Esau, all right. Yet will they lean, yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, "Is not the Lord among us?" <coughs> and then they'll try to lean upon the heavenly Father and think that the Most High is in those churches, man. You know they'll give you this grand show, this dog and pony show. You know, say think it, giving you the impression that the heavenly Father is with that, man. You know, none evil can come upon us, and that's what they say, man. They give you a sure peace and saying, "No evil can come upon you." They give you this. This motivational speech is saying you're gonna be all right, but hey, they're not giving you the skinny man. They're not. They're not. They're not preaching real repentance. They're not telling you to get right. Okay, they're not speaking out against homosexuality or speaking out against adultery. You know, they're not. They're not spreading out people's feelings, man. Our pe the, uh, these he these pastors are speaking smooth things, man. Why? Because if they gave you the harsh reality, they uh, they wouldn't have this many members as they had, man. Because this, this the the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Is against everything, every uh, every rulership, every kingdom, every doctrine that's not of the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, and it's a, and the, the truth is against his world, man. The scriptures are are blatantly against how this world operates, man. But but the church teaches you to do what? To get along in this world, move along, you know, to increase to the best of your ability. Now now we're not saying that you can't have things and that you can't further yourself, but it doesn't teach you. The, the church doesn't teach balance, man. It doesn't teach you to, to keep the Yahweh Shemal Shah first. 
you know it doesn't teach us seek out the those seek out the the, the um the kingdom and the knowledge of the most high and let you know that everything else will be added there on too you know they're supposed to gain this godliness which uh, i had that on deck and the elder brought it out so i'll actually i'll bring that out and then we'll actually no we'll go back to micah then i'll bring that out next uh <clears throat> Micah 3 and 12. Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field. And that's what's happening, man. Our people are being plowed, man. Being mowed down, cut down, man. Because they have no protection. They don't have the spirit, man. They don't have the knowledge to, you know. They're being completely destroyed, man. By, by the by idols and by their oppressors, man. And, and Jerusalem shall become heaps. And the mountain of the house of the high places of, of the forest. And, and Jerusalem is a people who force a place, man. And you and you can look out in the world and see Jerusalem, man. Two thirds of our people are, are are heaps, man. They're being plowed down the field, and it's going to continue on until Jacob's trouble, man. To until they're going to be destroyed, and then they'll come back in a reincarnation through the loins of the elect, okay. But because of that doctrine they're taking hold of, man. Okay, the doctrine of devils, uh, our people are, are being destroyed, man. That's why I was going to say our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh, let's get there real quick, and that, and that's why they're being plowed down because they have no knowledge, man. They have a zeal to Most High, okay? Our people have that zeal, man. You know, but it's not according to knowledge. Uh, Hosea, okay, there it is. All right, Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And that's our people, man. They're destroyed for lack of knowledge, and because they rejected knowledge, they, they you can see our people on the, when we're on the highways and byways. Some of them will even cross the street, man. They won't even look our way when we're giving them the top shelf knowledge for salvation and they're rejected, man. They're a fan in their hand. You know? They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that how about that, how they can't eat pork, how they can't eat shellfish, okay? How you can't sleep with your neighbor's wife, okay? How you just can't be a woman and play the field and be promiscuous as all hell. How you can't be an effeminate man. How you can't be a homosexual, okay? How you can't have homosexuals leading the choir, have homosexuals uh, leading the congregation, they don't want to hear those things, man. They don't, they don't reject, they're rejecting knowledge. They're taking hold of the things of the heathen, man. And so in turn, they're being rejected by the Heavenly Father. Okay? I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And you, and you can see it, man. Those Christians, man, they have some of the worst kids ever, man, in life, man. A lot of these mothers have badass kids and sons that are shooting each other, murdering each other, uh, filling the jailhouses up. Being out there being like complete, complete brute beast acting like their mother, man. You know, so he's he's just he's forgotten the, the children as well, you know. Uh, but let's get back to the art. Yeah, let's get back to the article and then we'll bring out those other scriptures. Um, among many, among many mega churches uh, that were investigated, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church was one. The church and their leader, Bishop Eddie Long, which said he's a homosexual. Okay, the most high destroyed him. That dude was swollen as hell at one point, and he also he died sick as hell, skinny as shit, man. Excuse my language, looking like a damn blow pop, you know. Flying, flying young men out to New Zealand, checking in under the name of Dick Tracy, you know, damn pervert, having homosexual relations with him, man. And then the congregation uh, fought for that dude and protected him, you know. Uh, have received criticism from inside and outside the black church. Long says he was relieved by the inquiries made on their financial legitimacy. Henry E. Felder's study of financial patterns within black Christian places of worship reported that donations made to Christian ministries were around $508 per year per person in 2009. Tyler Media Services estimated that black churches received revenue of $17 billion in 2006 alone. That's insane, man. Okay, that is insane. You received all that, and Chris and, the, and the, our people in those Christian churches are dumb as all hell, dumb as they've ever been, man. You know, they they, they put no funds together to um to do nothing, man. Not not create a Black Wall Street, not create anything of our own, man. Completely, complete all that money, and 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 this is what and this is what y'all do. This is the fruit of those black churches. Look look on social media. Torching for Jesus. You got Kanye West talking about Jesus. You know? And then there was, I think it was saw on social media where Kanye West, Jesus, uh, connects with Jesus or, or links with Jesus. He got a, a, a white Jesus on stage with him, man. You know? 
Serapis, which goes back to Serapis Christus, which was created by um, Ptolemy, the, Ptolemy the Solomon the First, you know, and also uh, Caesar Borgia. But he he's on he's on stage with this guy, man, right writing the Book of Jesus, and no one has anything to say, you know. It's ridiculous, man. And so you you Christians, you, you especially you black you, you J Christians, man, you've amassed all this wealth. And look what you've done with it, man. You completely failed. You had your opportunity, man. And you fumbled. So now the Most High sent up the real prophets, okay, his real men. As the scripture says, he has set forth the apostles last as we were pointed to death. Now he sent up his men to, to preach the truth, man. To condemn you and, and, and curse you out, man. Okay? You know, to reprove you in the spirit. You know, to give the true edification to the hopeful elect, man. You know? And you Chris talking about how you 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 want and you want to convert everybody. We don't want to convert everybody. We're just out here for the whole full elect, man. You can have to arrest everyone. You can still do your thing, have to arrest everyone, but the most high is breaking up uh, that Christian ring, man. And you can see it. That's why the Christians are coming out more and more trying to address the Hebrew Israelites. Because we're forcing y'all to study, we're forcing you to defend your doctrine, and you're losing, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimia Shai. Okay? One prosperity church, the Reverend Creflo Dollars World Changers, received $69 million in 2006. This nigga alone received $69 million. They gave this nigga a jet, man. And you have some of their uh, 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 members driving off and broke down Hyundais and, 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 and old ass Nissans. And, and, and you got these mega church pastors flying off in helicopters and Maybachs and Bentleys, living lavish as hell, man. They even had a reality TV show about pastors in Hollywood, man. But but your con your congregation, everyone in your congregation should be well taken care of, man. You know? While many politicians and black community while many politicians and black community leaders are demanding actually um let's get that real quick. Uh since I mentioned that. When you so-called get the knowledge of the Heavenly Father, man, you're supposed to just give it out, man. That's a commandment from the Lord, man. Yahweh Shai. Matthew 10 and 8. Um, uh, verse 10, verse 7. And as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And you don't, and you pat you churches don't preach that, man. You don't preach repentance and preaching the kingdom, man. You don't you don't preach uh, uh the vision of looking forward to the kingdom and the Lord coming back and, and hastening that day. You teach your people to be comfortable here and like, like nothing's going to happen. You're not preparing them for the, the income times that's coming, man. You know, the scripture said through the fear terror of the Lord will persuade men. You don't you don't teach fear, man. Okay? You don't teach the people to fear because, that, like I said, that's not a a, a, um, a popular doctrine, man. To, to curse people out, you know, to reprove them and really step on toes, you know. You teach those, you don't teach those smooth things in those churches, man, that prosperity doctrine. Um, and as you say, uh, and as you go, preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Actually, let's get that real quick since I quoted. We'll go back to that. Uh, Schlocky, I can't if I kind of all over the all, all over the place. It's just you know, so many thoughts going through. You know, because it's, it's just a damn shame, man. Looking looking at these churches, man. You, there's so much to say about them. You know, through the spirit, they're completely off, man. Uh, I believe it's Second Corinthians five. Second <clears throat> Corinthians five and uh let's start at verse ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. And you don't preach that, man. You don't preach that you don't preach for the people to have prudence, man, and really consider their ways, man. You just say come as you are and people stay as they are. And they actually get worse when they leave those whorehouses, man. They leave in a worse state than when they entered in, man. You know? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay? And, and that's what we are doing. We're persuading men because we we understand the terror, man. We us we have we have a, a insight to, to the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? When when you're when the, the elect are the sons of the of the Heavenly Father, man. That's what the adoption is all about, man. So when you're a son, man, you know your father, man. You know what happens when your daddy get home. You know what happens when your daddy is mad as hell, man. Okay? And that's what we're out there doing, and you churches aren't doing that, man. You're not preaching real fear of the Heavenly Father, because the Scripture says uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. 
And there's no wisdom in those churches right now, man. Okay? Uh, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and our trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. All right, so let's go back to Matthew. Uh, Matthew 10 and 7. And as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And again, you don't preach the kingdom of heaven. You're not These Christians aren't looking for the kingdom. They want to live their life out, watch their kids grow up and all that, man. No, I want to watch my daughter grow up in the kingdom, man. I don't want to watch my daughter become a, a teenager with hormones and puberty, looking at these uh, retarded-ass little boys walking around here, man, with no understanding, no fathers, you know? Curses. The scriptures say that thy wife and our daughter shall be a hard in the street, so I have to battle that, you know? This world, te this world does nothing but teach our women to be thoughts and whores. And proud sluts okay I don't want to see my daughter grow up and to, to be at that age man you know we want the, the elect wants out of here yesterday man you know we know we have to see we're gonna to have to see some things to 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 get to the kingdom because it's gonna get bad out of here according to Jacob's trouble it's gonna be a time like it never was before according to the scriptures you know but we're willing to go through that man because that means that the kingdom is gonna come man. that means the Lord is gonna lift up a standard to defend his faithful men and he's he's gonna he's not gonna leave his men out high and dry that he's dealing with, you know. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. And you churches don't freely give, man. You know, you charge, man. Whether it's a book you write, or whether it's a sh it's a shakedown, you got an ATM, you know, or you're getting people's bank accounts, or you calling them and hounding them about tithes, you know. You're not supposed to worry about that. Now, you are supposed to take care of the the, 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 the true men, you know, which are the elders and apostles of the great millstone through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, but sometimes Jake ain't got it, man. You know? But they still freely give and they still labor for the elect, man, because they know that it's it's not all about that, man. That they're, they're, they're laboring for that ultimate reward, man, that ultimate payout, man, which, which is what? That penny, you know, which is rulership in the kingdom. All right? Okay, but like I said, man, you churches, man, y'all, 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 y'all have amassed all this wealth over about 40 years, man. 420 billion damn dollars, man. And then look what you did with it, man. You just like your father the devil, man. Let's get that. These these damn elites, man. Esau, okay, these elite banking families, they have all the money in the damn world, man. They have amassed all the wealth the earth is is given into their hand right now. But the, but it's also according to scriptures, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So they're the wicked, man. But they can bail out America overnight, man. They can fix, they can fix everything in the world overnight because it's in the power of their hand, man. But they, what do they decide to do? They decide to do wickedness for it, man. You amass all this money and you have not helped out your people, man. Through the spirit, man. Truth, truly, you know. Y'all hand out some damn turkeys, turkey sandwiches and damn ham and think y'all did something, man. But you're not preaching uh, real repentance, man, and, and giving them the um, the tools that they need to survive the time of the Lord's judgment, man. The day of the Lord, man. Because it's it's a good it's gonna be a dark time, man. To where the righteous are gonna scarcely be saved, man. You know? John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye would do. And that's what you do, man. There's molestation in the churches, homosexuality in churches, uh, a, a ridiculous amount of adultery. Okay? No understanding. And that's what Esau pushes, man. And you're deceiving the people. That's what the word devil means, man. Deceiver. Okay? From that Diablo. It means deceiver, man. And you're deceiving the people, man. You're not giving them the truth. And a lot of these pastors know the truth, man. And some are sincere, but they're just sincerely wrong and, and, and blinded, man, by the Most High. Okay? Uh, he was a murderer from the beginning. And you are murderers. Now, you may not be murdering literally, but the scripture says if you, in First John, if you hate thy brother, you're a murderer, man. And you, how do you hate? Okay? Because what's uh, first off, what's love? Which you Christians can't answer that. God is love. That's all you got. No, man. Let's get that real quick, you know. First, First John chapter five, uh, verse three. For this is the love of the Most High that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. And you, and you, you Christians think that the commandments are grievous, man? Not eating shellfish, not eating pork, the dietary laws, man. Homosexuality, that, that's grievous unto you, man. You say the commandments are done away with. You say that it's only a commandment um, to have faith, believe in the Lord, you know. Okay, well, you'll quote um, 
uh, how Yahweh shall said, you, you shall hang all the commandments on these two. Love thy Lord, thy power, with all thy heart, and mind and soul, loosely paraphrasing, and love thy neighbor as thyself. You can hang on those two commandments, but that encompasses everything, man. Okay, that means you judge, you judge it right with your brother, man. And that's another thing, y'all don't teach judgment. Okay, you say you can't judge. You just say you can do whatever the hell you want, man. That's that's adoption of, of these heathens, man. Of just doing whatever, man, with no consequences. All right, it's back in John 8 and 44. You have your father the devil, and the lust of your father you would do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. And there's no truth in those churches, man. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it, man. And, and, that's, and that's the same state that you, you Christian churches come into, because that's a doctrine that was given in a time of slavery, man. You know? You were conditioned, man, with that with that BS Christianity. You know, this westernized Christianity is westernized thought process of viewing the scriptures, man, and viewing the Messiah. Okay? That's why Revelation 11 8 says that uh, spiritually Sodom and Egypt where our Lord was crucified. Okay? You have a, a Western mindset concerning the Messiah, man, and the Lord is crucified here, man. His mannerisms, what he looked like, who he came to save, his characteristics, you know? Everything has been X'd out here in this um, amongst the rest of you people. Okay? Uh, let's go back to the article. While many politicians and black community leaders are demanding accountability for the churches that accumulate high amounts of funding, devoted followers of the church are defending the institutions and leaders. They're defending them, man. Many lawyer, many even when there's scandals out, they still defend them. When they get caught red-headed, when they get aired out through the spirit, man, they still be uh, uh, be defending these guys, man. You know, many lawyer members of the flock claim that there is a double standard when it comes to black mega lead church leaders and wealthy white church leaders. Uh, the church has gotten caught up in materialism and greed, a lifestyle. Many ministers today want to live like celebrities and they want to be treated like celebrities. In other words, instead of the church standing with the community, the church has become self-serving. OK. And that's true, man, with that prosperity doctrine, man. Okay, let's get that in First Timothy. He said, you Christians are completely fumbled, man. You know? You didn't even fumble at the goal line. Y'all y'all fumbled from the beginning, man. You fumbled on the fucking handoff. Uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shahab Mashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. So there's a doctrine that's according to godliness, man. The scripture, the scripture says one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Y'all can't even agree in, in Christianity because y'all have so many denominations, man. Some believe in the Trinity, some don't. Okay? Some read the Apocrypha, some don't. You know, some teach um, the virgin birth, and then some teach the Immaculate Conception. You know, which there's a difference in that. You know, it's all it's all over the place, man. They can't even agree amongst themselves, man, but they didn't want to come over here and try to try to correct the, the Israelites, you know? Try to come over here in our arena and, and, and on, on the corners and the highways and byways. They can't even get their own stuff in order, you know? But like I said, the scripture says there's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism, man. So not everybody's going to be right, man. There, there's a doctrine which is according to godliness, man. And, and, and they don't consent to it, man. They're teaching otherwise, you know? He is proud, and there's nothing but pride in those churches, man. They teach that you're already saved, Okay? But the, but the, the, the time of Jacob's trouble, the day of the Lord hasn't came yet, man. So how are you saved already? You know? You say we're saved from our sins. No, you're not. Now, there, now the elect sins are covered from the foundation of the earth. But we don't know who the elect are. But we can, but hey, well, hey, through the spirit, we're we doing what the elect are doing, man. So we have confidence and we hope and pray that we continue to stand. Now, if we endure to the end, then we're of the elect. Talking about myself and the brothers that are fighting with me in truth and sincerity. And amongst the other Akion, you know. That's that's the mindset we push, you know. You don't know you're of the elect, but you're you world you have that hope, man. And you have that hope and confidence. And you have that belief that the Heavenly Father is dealing with us and we continue on, man. Well, we know that there is a possibility that you that you may not be of the elect, but we know that we're not saved, because that's a proud uh statement to make, man, you know, saying that you're already saved, you know. He is proud, knowing nothing, 
by knowing about questions and strifes of words whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputes of men, of corrupt minds. Man, and pervert, very, that, that, that Christian church is very perverse, man. And very corrupt, man. There's nothing but corruption goes on. That's why they do this supposed to be aired out, man. You know? And scandals, embezzlement, fraud, you know, felonies. You using the using the, the money for to, to fund their own personal gain. It's even in this article I'm reading, man. You know? And destitute of the truth. They don't have the truth in those churches, man. Supposing that gain is godliness. Okay? And that's what they think, man. Because and in those churches, man, they think is you got a Bentley or a Benz or a BMW, or you got a nice you got a nice five bedroom house, man. That that you that the most high is dealing with you, man. No, man, Esau was given the world, man, for right now. You know? He's not uh, righteous. So that's not, it's about your spirit, man, and your intent, man, at the most high is dealing with you. Okay? But they just, but the, the church is preached just because you got money that you bless, man. My mother said this uh, the other day when I was purchasing the vehicle. I got an aunt that hit the lottery, man. And she was talking to the guy that sold me a car. Tell me how my aunt is family oriented, which she is very family oriented. She looks out for her family, you know. But she's she's one of the, the one of those she highly into in the church, man. You know, I used to go to church with her. I joined one at church at one time. Got baptized and everything, man. We said that's why she's so blessed, you know. That that's that's a church mentality, man. You know that gain is godliness, you know. From such withdraw thyself, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay, being content, man. That's Proverbs thirty and eight. Free me with neither giving me neither poverty nor riches, you know. Uh, food. Let's, actually, let's go and get it real quick. It's, you know, that's that's a that's a, that's, a, that's a, a great scripture, man. To always keep in your mind, man. Keep on your cap, man. That'll keep you balanced. Um, Proverbs thirty and eight. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Okay, and that's what's in that church. Va vain, vain ideologies, man. Vain persona and lies, man. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Okay? Just have, just give, what, hey, give, that's the Lord's prayer, man. Give us this day our daily bread, man. Okay? Give us this day our daily bread. You know? That's a part of the Lord's prayer. At least I'll be full and deny thee and say, Who is Yahweh? Or at least I'll be poor and steal and take the name with my power in vain, man. So you just want to have balance, man, because the most high, this Proverbs 11 and 1 says what? A false balance is an abomination to the heavenly father. So you just want, you just want balance, man, to make it through, man, because this is not our rest. Okay? In Hebrews, it says we, we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come, man. So the thing is here, man, we, we don't we don't need. Now you, you, now, you obviously have to work. You have to make money. And the most high will bless you with things, you know, but it's not the end all be all, man. You know, that's not what, what that's not what makes your self worth and that's what uh, people do they 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 it's materialistic and then like i just said in the article and then a lot of people think these material things that's what they base their self worth off of versus the spirit that you have watching my child has the ability to bless you with man okay so let's go back to first timothy six Uh, but godliness, verse Timothy 6 and 6, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay, that's the gain, man. Being content with what the Heavenly Father based you with. That's what Paul said in Philippians. Okay, I know how to be a base. I know how to be a, be a bound, man. Mm -hmm. So if you can start, maintain your integrity when you're down, you, the most high trust you to maintain your integrity when he throws blessings your way, man. But you still have a mindset of focusing on your how about Shemiah was shy. And then once you do that and prove in that, then that's when we'll get the ultimate blessing in the kingdom, man, because we've shown, be able to show and maintain, and maintain integrity throughout everything that we, we've gone through on this side. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we certainly can carry nothing out. Okay, and that's part of the Egyptian doctrine. They bury everything with the pharaohs, you know, and you just take hold of that as well, man. You know, nothing's going to make it out of here, man. Your car, whether you have a nice car or not, whether you have a nice house or not, which brothers have nice things, but... Hey, it is what it is, man. You use the world but not abuse the world, you know? Some brothers are more well-off than others, but those that are well-off, they have the ability to be responsible in the spirit with that, man. Some brothers don't need that much money. Some brothers don't need that type of car because it'll puff you up and it'll destroy you, man. The Most High knows you. He knows your heart, man. He knows everyone's heart. He created you, man. So he he's not going to put, he's not going to, uh, if he's dealing with you, he's not going to put you in a position where you can be destroyed, you know? 
He'll put you in position to test you, man. But if he's ultimately dealing with you, man, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll guide you, you know. Uh, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content, you know. They, but they that will, will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. And so that's what it happens, man. <coughs> these these church, mega churches are all in temptation fall into snares, man. To where they're just going crazy, you know. Uh, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. And that's what it has, man. They end up destroying themselves, man. They see all that money, man. For the love of money. Okay, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Okay? Now, money is not evil, but the love of money is. Because the scriptures say money is a defense, man. But for the love of it is the root of all evil, man. You know? What, which, while, which while some covered after, they have erred from the faith. And pierce themselves through many sorrow through with many sorrows. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the article. The church has gotten caught up in materialism and greed, a lifestyle. Many ministers today want to live like celebrities and they want to be treated like celebrities. In other words, instead of the church standing with the community, the church has become self serving. A hey, foolish and hurtful lust, man, and temptation and cut me caught caught in a snare, man. Okay? It has strayed away from its mission, stated Dr. Love Henry O. Um, Welchel, professor of church history at the Interdenominational Theologi Theological Center. While many churches that were investigated did not face any criminal charges, Calvary Baptist Yorba, Yorba Linda Church's leadership pleaded guilty to grand felony, theft, and fraud charges. Hey, that, that's, that explains 1 Timothy 6 right there, man. Richard Cunningham and his son, Philip Cunningham, Attempted to attempt admitted to stealing funds from the church to buy timeshares in Hawaii and Palm Springs. <laughs> you know, they've been tempted, man, to ball out. You know, some legitimate questions that are being asked are how often and much do church leaders take advantage of the faith of black people? Okay, they take advantage of it roughly, man, because why? Esau uses, like they were mentioned in this video, Esau uses um, <clears throat> Jake, man, he uses their zeal. Their, their spirit, you know, to, to, to profit off of, man. And, and that church, man, that Christian church, man, it's a big business, man. Christianity is a big business, you know. And versus killing you, Jay's right off, man. It's a slow kill, man, but get everything you can from you, suck you dry, and then, then put you out of your misery, man. That's how he does it, man. Okay. Like I say, he's making some money off the backs of you, Jason. This is why. Uh, Romans 10 and 1 Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel Is that they might be saved For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High But not according to knowledge So they use that zeal, man Okay, they have these gospel fests They have these gospel movies They have these gospel recording artists Okay All these things dealing with Christianity, man And they use that And they use your zeal against you, man To where there's no knowledge, man for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. So that, that's the churches, man. They they go about establishing their own righteousness, man, and not submitting to the righteousness of the Heavenly Father, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. As the scripture says, my fear, the, fear of man, my, the fear of me is taught by the precept of men. Okay? Uh, let's pull that real quick and then we'll finish up the article and then uh, we'll get out of here. Uh, Isaiah 29. Excuse me. <clears throat> Isaiah 29 and uh, 13. And the Lord quoted this as well. Okay. Um, 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, a lot of lip service in those churches, man. Okay. They have faith without works. Lip service. And with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. Okay, their minds. Their heart means law, their minds. They're not thinking them all upon the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. So what's a precept? That's, that's a commandment or a law, if you will. Okay, it's, it's by the commandments of men versus the commandments that Yahweh Shemel Shah gave, man. Okay, 
that's the fear that is taught, man. It's the fear of uh, from man, you know, a man's doctrine, a corruptible doctrine, man. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. And that's what you see, man. Okay, the the wisdom is being is being found out in those, these, these churches, man. They don't know the Bible, man. You don't know one. You don't know the first thing about the scriptures, man. It's being it's being revealed, man. <clears throat> Christianity, and that's why a lot of Jakes are leaving, the, especially a lot of young Jake, they're leaving the churches, man. You know, because there's so many holes that's being revealed that they're not even, uh, that hey, they may not even come to Israel, but they just like, man, some Jakes are not even believing the most high. They, they're turning away from the Bible, man. You know, they're turning completely away from the Bible, man, because of Christianity. You know, and then they, they try to blame the Israelites. No, man, we're just showing the. We're just shining the light, which the scriptures is a light. We're shining the, the truth is a light, man. We're just shining the light on Christianity, man, to show how it's a false doctrine. Okay? <coughs> <It's lucky. clears throat> come, yeah, I guess I'm coming down with something. Then you sick all the time in this place, man, but you Christians want to stay here. You know, these feeble ass bodies. Uh, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Okay? And it, it's being hid, man. Okay, your Christians are through at the end of the day. Okay. Um, what was I reading before? Uh, it may come back to me. All right, so we'll go back to uh, <clears throat> the article. Uh, some, leg uh, some legitimate questions that are being asked are how often... Okay, that's what I was in. I was in Romans 10. Uh, let me make sure I finish that off. Romans 10 and 3, for their being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. Okay? That's it. That's, and that's, they just haven't submit, man. It's a bunch of pride in those churches, man. Okay? Tell they put the Most High in the box. Tell the Most High what he'll do. Not my God. Not my God. You know? They use the Most High as a personal genie versus having fear, man. You know? How often and much do church leaders take advantage of the faith of black people? How are these large, large um, sums of money improving the state of our communities? They're not <clears throat> completely failed, man. You've amassed uh, four hundred twenty billion dollars, man, and the communities are in worse than they ever been, man. Jake is still murdering each other. Okay, walk around like a bunch of uh, bulls in the net, as the scriptures say, like a bunch of monkeys jumping around. Like I said twerking for Jesus, man. You know, I saw a picture of a gospel singer. She had on a damn, it was like a damn teddy or, uh, or you know, some lingerie singing and singing gospel, man. You know, people bugged out, man. You got your damn minds. Why do some churches decline to participate in the Grassley Congressional Investigation? Because they know what it is, man. They don't want to be found out. But the Most High is going to reveal all that, man, when the time comes in the spirit. Um, so that's pretty much all I had. Hey, Lord willing, it's edifying for Akiyam. I'm say, call Halal Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone, rule well to the spirit. Peace and blessings to the whole for elect. Shalom.